So, did you take a May basket to someone today? Has your day been a good one? The evening winds are starting to pick up here. The breezes are cool. It'll be a good night to sleep with the windows open. That is, unless the allergies uh, bother you. This evening's uh, evening prayer, once again from John Bailey. I probably don't need to keep saying that, but uh, I found him to be uh, extremely insightful. I will share other prayers with you uh, from other people, but right now uh, he's kind of been my spiritual mentor. I'm rediscovering him again for the first time uh, with you. Join me in the spirit of prayer. O oh Lord, you are from everlasting to everlasting. I turn my thoughts to you as the hours of darkness and of sleep begin. O oh, son of my soul, I rejoice to know that all night I shall be under the watchful eye of the one who dwells in eternal light. Into your care, Father, I now entrust my body and soul. All day you have watched over me. Your companionship has filled my heart with peace. Accompany me also throughout the night. Give me a sound and refreshing sleep. Give me safety from all dangers. Give me freedom from restless dreams. Give me control of my thoughts if I lie awake. Give me wisdom to remember that the night was made for sleeping and not for the harboring of anxious or distressing thoughts. Give me grace if I lie awake thinking to think of you. Father, into your hands I commit my family and friends, asking you to keep them safe in soul and body and to be present in their hearts tonight as a spirit of power, joy, and rest. I pray also for those I work with, for those around me, those nearby who are unknown to their neighbors, and all those beyond whom I don't know, but who are dear to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, amen. I'm Forrest Frosty Crummel, the minister of First Federated Church. May the love of God that will never let you go, the peace of Christ that passes all human understanding, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit that knits us together as the body of Christ here on earth, fill your hearts and your mind and your sleep with joy and peace. By the grace of God, until the morning's light, take care.